am going to throw together a soup. My husband and I have been watching our carbs. We've been watching them for going on two weeks now. And I'm here to tell you, I'm ready for some carbs. He is too. We're both craving fried cornbread. So I thought a soup would be great with some fried cornbread. It always is, especially on a day where it's kind of chilly. It's a little um, warmer today here in Tennessee, but it's been really cold. So while I've got my big club pan here. And by the way, I cleaned this with something that I'm gonna share with you eventually, but it came so clean. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the club pan and I'm going to take a package of turkey kielbasa. Now you can use beef if you want to, but if you've been following me or some of you new people may not know this, but I am allergic to pork and beef. So I have to use turkey and yeah, that, that's that's my life. And do I get tired of turkey? Yes, I do. And chicken, uh, chicken and turkey. That's that's um, that's pretty much my diet. And fish, I can have fish sometimes too. I don't use my kitchen scissors as much as I should should. Um, and I just usually dice this. But look, you can just cut it up. I saw someone cutting chicken with their scissors and I was just like, why haven't I thought of that? So this is the first time I've done this, but I thought I'm gonna cut this kielbasa with scissors and it's working great. Look at that. I like that. I like that a lot. So uh, let me wash my hands real quick. Got that cut up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my stove top on to medium. And am I cutting off my head there? No. Okay. And I'm just gonna drop a little, maybe a tablespoon of olive oil. Maybe two tablespoons. And guys, I'm just making this up as I go. Grab a spoon and let me grab a hot holder. And we are just going to brown this sausage right in this club pot. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna slice an onion, a half an onion. I'm gonna use a half an onion. So I've just got a medium yellow onion. And you know, funny thing is, is I actually had own a, a dicer. I'm just so old school. I'm so used to cutting it up myself. And maybe when I get older and maybe my hands don't work as well, that dicer will come in handy uh, for sure. I really do like it, but, but I rarely break it out to use it. So. And then we are going to give this a stir. Grab my spoon. yet heated up. So while we're waiting on that, I, I know that I'm going to throw cabbage in here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dice up my cabbage. Or I should say cube up my cabbage. And I'm just using a half a head of cabbage. It's going everywhere. It's going all over the floor. <laughs> okay, so we've got our cabbage cubed and we've got our onion diced. And I'm just gonna give this a stir. It's starting to sizzle. I've got some leftover white beans that my husband made white beans on Sunday. And I don't wanna throw them out. I've got about two cups. So I thought, what can I do with these white beans? And I make a soup that's similar to what I'm doing now a lot because it's so good. But I thought, I'm just gonna throw it together on my own and we'll see what this tastes like. Okay, so our kielbasa is starting to brown and I'm gonna go ahead and add, I've got two cups of chicken broth. And this is chicken broth that I actually froze. I like to do that when I boil a whole chicken. So we're gonna use this chicken broth. And it's still partially frozen, but it will unthaw as it cooks. 
And now I'm gonna add those white beans. I'm just gonna add juice and all. I'm gonna add one can of fire roasted tomatoes. I really like the fire roasted tomato a lot. We use them a lot in our recipes. Got some parsley and I grow my own parsley in the summertime and got some whole leaves in here, but I'm just gonna take maybe a good couple of pinches of that. So I'm gonna guess if you're adding parsley, you'll wanna add one teaspoon and some oregano, oh, I love oregano. And I'm gonna add one teaspoon of oregano. <laughs> and then it wouldn't be complete without garlic. And I really like to use the minced garlic. I haven't gotten into using fresh garlic yet. I just have always used minced garlic for my recipes. Okay, so that was about one teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm gonna give this a stir. Oh, it smells so good already, guys. And now I'm gonna add my onion. And probably will throw that cabbage all over the floor. So I'm just gonna get a little bowl. We're just gonna put that onion in a bowl. Guys, I make a mess all over this kitchen. So there's our onion, our half of a yellow onion. And I'm gonna add that. Do y'all think we should add something else to it? Mm. Bay leaves, we need bay leaves. But what I think I'm gonna do is let this cook on medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes so the flavors all cook and blend together. But while that's cooking, I wanna show y'all something. Look, I know you've probably seen this in my videos, but about a month ago, maybe two months ago, I found this at Goodwill and I gave $3 for this. My husband, he collects the signs you see all in my kitchen. Well, he and I both do. We both love them, but that is his passion. When it comes to antiques, he loves the signs. So when I found this at Goodwill for $2.99, I knew I had to have it. He was coming home with me and Mr. Yellow m, &M he came home with me and he works too. I cleaned him up, I washed the inside and you just drop m, m in the back of it and pull the lever and it comes out the hole here and it does work this is so awesome um, my husband did really like this and it was a nice addition to our kitchen i don't know if you guys like to go to goodwill but i like to go ever so often and to find things um, for the house or things to be creative with this is going to need to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes and i'll be back <laughs> Hey guys, you didn't realize I had you in my cabinet, did you? It's been boiling for about 10 minutes now, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my cabbage in here. Now that I have got my cabbage in here, I'm just gonna make a small little hole in the middle and I'm going to put a bay leaf in there. Well, it looks like I don't have a whole leaf so I've got two little pieces. I'm going to put them right in the middle and then I'm going to make another little hole. Okay and you do not want to ingest your bay leaves. You want to make sure that you um, take them out so I like to always remember where I put them so that they don't float around and you have to dig them out. And that does happen. So I've got two bay leaves in here. 
And the reason you don't want to ingest them is because as you digest them, they can actually cut your GI tract. They can cut your throat, your esophagus, and you do not want that to happen. I'm just gonna add a little salt and pepper. And I really like the cracked pepper. And because I did not use um, chicken broth bought from the store processed, you know, in the little container, there's not a lot of sodium in my chicken broth. There is some in those canned tomatoes and also in our beans, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. We do try to stay away from the sodium um, because, you know, we just don't need all that sodium. Okay, I'm gonna put a lid on this and leave it cracked and I'm gonna cut my stovetop eye down to low and let this cook for about 20 minutes. Now you can cook yours longer if you want to, but I, I like it just to have a little bit of texture left. I don't want it mushy. And I hear my baby girl and y'all, I'll be back later. Okay guys, I can't show you this beautiful little girl smiling up at me, wanting me to pick her up, but I am gonna show you our white bean and sausage stew. Hold on baby, I know. And see, we're just gonna dig out those bay leaves. And voila, an hour or so later, after I made my cornbread, we had supper and this soup was so good. And that cornbread, mm -hmm, it just complimented it so well. And yes, I eat every piece you see on that plate.